Thank you, uh, uh, Minister. Um, thank you very much for taking the time out to uh, listen to uh, other senators today around uh, issues that's impacting on the traveller community when it comes to accommodation. Um, many local authorities have failed to deliver an uh, appropriate and cultural uh, accommodation for the traveller community. In Ireland, we have our own humanitarian crisis, and that's the living conditions that the traveller community are living in today in 21st century Ireland. Now is a time for action. The lack of appropriate accommodation and supports when it comes to accommodation for the traveller community is well documented. Money has been allo allocated to local authorities for traveller accommodation. In many cases, the money is not being spent. I cannot understand how this continues to happen year after year after year. Since the, since the traveller accommodation programme began in 2000, there has been an underspend of nearly six, um, 69 million euro 69 million euro, I'll just say that figure again, that uh, hasn't been drawn down. This does not include the 8 million euro that hasn't been, that's, that's been underspent uh, this year alone. I would appreciate a, a, dedic a, a detailed uh, explanation from the government to why uh, this uh, continues to happen and why uh, people from my community uh, continue to live in appalling uh, accommodation and in appalling um, living conditions. I, over the life of the, over the life of the um, traveller accommodation program, living conditions for the traveller community has not improved. If anything, they've got worse around evictions and around uh, uh, people being evicted from halting sites and from the side of the road and, and being told to move along and get on. Um, so, uh, to, uh, and why is local authorities continue to fail uh, on their delivery and their own low, uh, low uh, target uh, that they do set out to do at the beginning of the year or every five years when they do look at their programmes for the traveller community? There's such a low target, yet they continue to fail in delivering these low uh, targets. Uh, to, to highlight uh, uh, the need for a dedicated traveller uh, accommodation uh, at heart, um, sorry, to highlight the need for a dedicated traveller accommodation authority with appropriate budget uh, to be established uh, as a priority to this was recommended in the report of the expert uh, um, review group on traveller accommodation in Ju uh, July 2019. Uh, Minister, I also want you to take into account the significant impact of COVID-19 as a respect that you've already mentioned, but let's be real, before COVID-19, uh, traveller accommodation has been appalling for the traveller community. Uh, travellers are an extremely vulnerable group given the uh, higher rate in the, in, in the community of chronic and uh, at-risk uh, conditions. Um, I, I raise uh, a specific concern for traveller children living on the side of the road uh, during the pandemic that doesn't have any, uh, um, any basic uh, facilities. Uh, at, 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 the, sorry, <laughs> at the peak of the pandemic, I learned of a family in South West, in, uh, including a pregnant mother who was using a paddling pool for hygienic and for uh, cleaning, uh, cleaning around uh, the caravan, a paddling uh, pool minister in 2020. Um, I, I have been getting calls uh, from uh, all over the country, and honestly, I've been getting calls from Derry to Kerry around the living conditions that people in my community, Minister, are, are desperate for appropriate living uh, accommodation. To many travellers, Minister, a trailer, a caravan is a home. It's just, and we've been forced to settle. If we look, uh, traveller community are 20 times more likely to be uh, suffer discrimination when looking for private rental accommodation. Um, I want to acknowledge the work of the uh, previous, uh, previous Minister, uh, Damien English, who uh, allocated supports to local authorities for basic sanitation, uh, to access water and toilets uh, for, uh, for travellers most at need during the COVID-19. Sadly, it is shameful reflection of local authorities' duty of care to the traveller community that their basic needs still haven't been met. 
I have, I have learned in May of a mother and a medically vulnerable child who lives with 12 other uh, family members in a seriously overcrowded home. The woman has been on the housing list for several years. This is many uh, such uh, cases in this country. And still, this year to date, just 45% of the budget was drawn down uh, nationally. Uh, again, why is this? When the need is so great, to many travellers, as I've already said, a trailer, a caravan is a home. We've been forced, forced into, uh, in, into uh, standard accommodation, which is not fair and it's not traveller appropriate cultural accommodation. Uh, many, um, many, I've already said it, were more times, 22 times more likely to suffer discrimination and racism when looking for private rental. Uh, Minister, um, this is Ireland 2020 and travellers are still seen as less. In Ireland, when it comes to accommodation, we're seen as less anyway, but when it comes to accommodation, we're even seen as even less again. Minister, I understand that the government are drawing down money. And I understand that the government is trying their best. Why isn't local authorities drawing down this money for the traveller community? I understand that it's very tough to build a halting site because the general population don't want a halting site or this land is too vulnerable for them traveller community. But we are people. I was born and reared in a halting site in Ballyfermot. Look at me. I lived in the, I was still part of the community of Library Park, but the oldest unofficial halting site in Ireland. To finish off, Minister, we're not, I know, to the local authority, we are seen as just them, the traveller community. We should be treated in this state with dignity and respect and have a human, basic human rights when it comes to accommodation and facilities that help and support us in accommodation. Let that be a trailer or however how people choose to live. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, Senator.